Hey friends, it's me Peter, and welcome to day 5 of my 25 Days of Christmas Reviews. Today is December 5th, and I don't know how many of you guys knew this, but today is actually a holiday. Well, of sorts at least. It is Krampus Night Eve. Tonight is the night when Krampus goes walking the streets, searching for people who do not believe and who have been naughty this year. And what better way to celebrate Krampus Night Eve than by reviewing a movie dedicated to the legend himself, Krampus. Krampus tells the story of a young boy named Max, who is not too excited about spending Christmas with his family. He's got his sister who doesn't really care about the holiday, his parents who are working too hard, and he's got his aunt and uncle who he doesn't like, and his cousins who bully him, and then, for some reason, Aunt Dorothy, who nobody seems to like or even knows why she's tagging along for. Max initially wishes for good things for Christmas, but after his cousins make fun of him for believing in Santa Claus, he rips up his letter and throws it into the wind. The next day, a blizzard hits, knocking out power throughout the entire town and seemingly making everybody else in town vanish. Then, a bunch of strange things start happening, as his sister disappears, and then his cousin disappears, and his father and uncle have a weird experience when they're outside looking for his sister. Nobody knows what's going on, except for Max's German-speaking grandma, who might know more than she's letting on to. Christmas-themed horror movies aren't anything new. You got The Nightmare Before Christmas, although I don't really know if that could be considered horror. And you've got Gremlins, which, again, I don't know if you could really consider that horror. But they've kind of got a creepy vibe to them, and they air around Christmas time. Going into Krampus, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I actually didn't even look up the plot before I looked at it. I just was kind of vaguely aware of what it involved, that there was this legend named Krampus who would come scare you. It turns out what he does is he's kind of a opposite of Saint Nicholas, but instead of giving you presents, he punishes you for not believing. Theoretically, that should be a great concept for a horror movie, especially a comedy horror movie, which is what this is. And you know, at first I was really getting into this movie. It wasn't really scary per se, but it was pretty funny. There were parts of it that made me laugh, especially the opening sequence. I just could not stop laughing at that. It was so goofy. I was even getting into the plot for a while. The sister disappeared, and then the cousin disappeared, and I actually wanted to know what was going to happen. I was really curious. And then, about midway through the movie, things started to fall apart. They had this really stupid fight scene up in the attic that featured a bunch of possessed toys. I don't think I'm spoiling anything here, but yeah, possessed toys. And I know it was going for a comedy angle, but this was too stupid even for me to believe. After that, it kind of started picking up again and getting interesting. And then the climax happened, and I don't want to spoil what happened for you guys, but let's just say this ending was just one of the biggest cop-out endings I've ever seen. It was just... I hated the way this movie ended. I just hated it. It's just... Ugh. This is the reason I hate watching horror movies. Not because they're not scary, but because they're stupid. This movie had the same problem Red Eye had. I don't know how many of you have seen the movie Red Eye. It's this movie where this girl's taking a red-eye flight and there's a guy next to her that apparently knows everything about her and is holding her father hostage. It was really suspenseful, really thrilling, until the plane landed. And then the girl, played by Rachel McAdams, took a pen, stabbed the guy in the throat, and then it just devolved from there into utter chaos. But I will say a few positives about this movie. One, there is some suspense in it. And at least for me, it kept me wanting to watch for more. Uh, at least until the middle and then the ending happened, but you know, again, a good chunk of the movie is quite suspenseful. Another positive is the actors. Most of these actors I'd never heard of before. I had heard of Tony Collette, I've heard of Conchata Farrell, and I've heard of David Koechner, but the other actors I'd never heard of before, and I thought they all did a rather great job with this movie. Also, the design of Krampus, I thought, was amazing. The way this thing looked with the horns and the big, kind of goat-like appearance, I loved how they designed this creature. I thought it was amazing. I don't know if this got nominated for a 
Best Costume Design Oscar, but I hope it did, because this was really good. Would I recommend this movie? Yeah, I'd recommend it, even if the middle and the ending are kind of stupid. It's still a fun, entertaining romp that you can watch probably more appropriately to watch around Christmas time, but you could probably watch it around Halloween too and not have any problem. I would have given this a higher grade, but because of the stupid parts and just the part that actually had me laughing instead of fearing for the characters, I'm going to have to give Krampus a 2 out of 5. Thanks a lot for watching my latest review, my friends. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos from me, simply click that subscribe button down below. And be sure to tune in tomorrow when I review yet another Christmas movie. Until then, this is Peter saying see you later.